Hey guys, welcome back. In the last video, we discussed different examples of continuity. And now in this video, I'm going to do some multiple choice problems that are on continuity and asymptotes. The graph of y equals x squared minus 16 over 4x minus 16 has a vertical asymptote at x equals 4, a horizontal asymptote at y equals 1 fourth, or a removable discontinuity at x equals 4. First thing that you have to see is that the top gets factored to x minus 4 times x plus 4, while the bottom gets factored to 4 times x minus 4. Now, originally, you're probably saying there's a vertical asymptote at x equals 4. Well, before you check for vertical asymptotes, you have to see if there's a removable discontinuity or a hole. Okay, so another word for a hole in the graph is a removable discontinuity. We see that the numerator and the denominator can cancel each other out, and therefore we have an issue at 4, but we took care of it. We have an issue at 4 comma something. So the way to find that something is to put the 4 back into the remainder, and in the, the remainder of the function, in the numerator we have 8 when we do 4 plus 4, and the denominator we have 4, so 8 over 4 or 2. So we have a removable discontinuity at x equals 4. We don't have a vertical asymptote. We would have had a vertical asymptote if they didn't cancel. A horizontal asymptote would have been 1 fourth if the denominator had a square there because then they would match and then you would reduce. I hope everybody had the opportunity to watch the vertical asymptotes. Great. Now let's try some of these calculus problems. Um, pretty much any calculus, but this is for AP calculus, okay? So it says... Uh, f of x is equal to x squared minus x over 2x for all values except x can't be 0. That makes sense because if x was 0, we would have an undefined in the denominator. But for f of 0, I'm going to make it set equal to k. And they're telling you f is continuous at x equals 0. Then what does k have to be? Well, we did some of this in the last video, but let's try this problem here. What you have to do in this case is you're going to have to factor and remove that discontinuity, okay? So we see that the numerator factors like this, and x cancels with x. That reduces to x minus 1 over 2. You re-plug in this 0, and when you plug in the 0 here, you get negative 1 half. So if you set k equal to negative 1 half, then this function would be continuous, okay? So remember that this function here is basically x minus 1 over 2, which is just you can get rewritten like this, we should put y equals, which is a line. And it has a hole at negative, um, uh, at zero, negative one half, but we filled it in, okay? So now it's continuous. Let's try the next one. Now at any point, you guys can pause the video, try the problem, just see if your answer and my answer uh, matches. Look, try it now, pause, pause, okay. 4 over x squared minus 1. The graph of the function has what? Okay, right now I realize that the denominator cannot, can be factored, but there's nothing in the numerator that would cancel it out. So I definitely have vertical asymptotes. So when the denominator gets set equal to 0, I see that there's two values that would make that equal to 0, 1 and negative 1. So I definitely have vertical asymptotes at two places. Now, I need to check to see if there's a horizontal asymptote because the problem has things about horizontal asymptotes, okay? So, how do we figure out horizontal asymptotes? We take the largest x value in the numerator, which is basically 4x to the 0, even though th there's nothing there because we know x to the 0 is 1, over x squared. That just leaves you with 4 over x squared. Horizontal means... What happens as the limit approaches, x approaches infinity? Well, if you pick a really large number, do you guys remember from my last videos? 4 over bill is probably 0. So we have a horizontal at y equals 0. Another name for horizontal at y equals 0 is the x-axis. So my answer is choice C. And I believe this is the last one, almost the last one. Okay. Let's try this problem here. This is fun, right? Okay, here we go. Let's factor the bottom, because I know there's gonna be a problem. 
So x minus 2, x minus 1. Now, I did a problem similar to this in last video, okay, where I can remove only one of them, but not the other. So right now, x minus 1 cancels out with x minus 1. So I have a whole or a uh, removable discontinuity at 1 comma something. So let's put 1 back in here. You get a 3. Put 1 back in here. You get a negative 1. So there is a point discontinuity at 1, negative 3, okay? And then we have a vertical asymptote or an infinite discontinuity that cannot be removed at x equals 2. Now, the great part about this is they filled in f of 1 to be negative 3. So that's wonderful because what happened here was it didn't work for negative 1 or uh, I'm sorry, it didn't work for positive 1 or positive 2. But at positive 1, they filled it in with negative 3, so that closes the hole. And then at f equals 2, they gave you 4. But we know that this is a whole vertical asymptote, so this, is, this could never be fixed. So f of x is continuous everywhere except for x equals 2, okay? And here are my last two problems. Okay. Take a look at the highest on top, 2x squared, the highest on the bottom, 4x squared. If you guys reduce that, we can find the horizontal asymptote. There's a horizontal asymptote at 1 half because 2 over 4 is 1 half. Great. Now, how do we find vertical asymptotes? Well, we're going to have to factor the numerator and the denominator. I don't think the numerator could get factored. The denominator, you can factor out a 4 and an x, and you're left with x minus 1. So x equals 0, x equals positive 1. So these are two vertical asymptotes, and we have a horizontal asymptote. So let's see which one says that. Okay, a horizontal, the graph has a horizontal asymptote at y equals a half. This is true, but no vertical asymptotes. No horizontal asymptote, but two vertical asymptotes. A horizontal asymptote at one half and two vertical asymptotes. Yep. Okay. So the answer is choice C. And here's our last problem of the video. I hope this was very helpful. Be sure to subscribe. All right. F of X equals X squared plus X over X. Great. I think the numerator is factorable. I think the denominator has those two in common. The X and the X cancel out. And they tell you that x can't be 0. So let's cross those out and let's put 0 back into the remainder of this. There's a hole at 0, 1, okay? But look what happens. They ended up fixing that hole by saying at x equals 0, put 1. So actually, it's continuous. Guys, once it's continuous, the limit must exist. It goes without say. So f of 0 exists, limit exists, it's continuous. Which of the following are true? All three of them. Okay, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Come back for the next one.